always considered uh, as been on the issue of own source revenue and also the running of the county treasurer, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, the amendment of Public Finance Management Act is to make sure and put in place necessary mechanisms for accountability purposes and to ensure revenue collection, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, normally in our brief as, as uh, members of uh, as members of the public accounts and Senate, we normally ask revenue potential of each and every county. Uh, Mr. Speaker, you find there is no county, and I want to dare because I've sat in the public accounts that has ever met revenue system. I remember today there was a county that we were meeting the neighboring county of uh, Laikipia, and they had missed their own revenue target by over 411 million apart from the revenue they had set, which is not realistic. But when you look at, for example, Nandi, according to CRA, we have a potential target of 630 million. But Nandi has never gone beyond 300 to 400 million. So it means most of the counties are missing their own source revenue target by a half of what they target, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, borrowing the best practices from the National Treasury. And you know, by the way, this in any way does not undermine devolution. I know the people who uh, imagine and think that when the Senator Amida proposes that they should, in, co in consultation with National Treasury, many people want to imagine that uh, we are undermining devolution. We are not. We are complementing because they are mutual and distinct and complementarity, borrowing what we call best practices, Mr. Speaker. And I know this cons consultation word was famous during Grand Coalition government, and I think it, it had an extent of even the Constitution being amended then, during the, the Grand Coalition arrangement between uh, former President Mwai Kibaki and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. So what we are saying is consultation. It does not mean that you are loading over another entity, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, and then there is a challenge in revenue collection. You find like, for example, Nandi County, you find they produce a number of triplicate receipts. But the receipt they surrender to the county treasury is only one receipt. So where is the other two receipts? That is how they are stealing money, Mr. Speaker. You find the serial numbers of receipts they issue to border border sticker. For example, in Nandi, border border pay uh, beyond 300 shillings per sticker. Mr. Speaker, the ones of a single permit, the one on land rates, rents, fees, Mr. Speaker, daily uh, receipts or parking receipts, Mr. Speaker, it always becomes a challenge because sometimes our counties or some crooked uh, county government officials take advantage and steal is the issue different receipts, same receipts, but different serial number. I remember in some occasion, Mr. Speaker, uh, there was a time every evening when Nandi used to bank their money at Kenya Commercial Bank in Capsa, but they used to lose over 96,000 every evening. So there is a lot of leakages. There is a lot of, and you know, they have set up sales points. Mr. Speaker, I don't understand why would, you, would I pay, Mr. Speaker, uh, sales from Nairobi when I'm taking uh, stones here, building stones from Thika, I pay, to, when I enter to Nairobi, I pay sales. As I enter to Naguru, I pay sales. As I enter to Wazingisho, I pay sales. As I enter to, 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 to Nandi, I pay sales. Mr. Speaker, I think we are encouraging double taxation by counties. Why don't I pay sales from the origin of the product or at the end of delivery project? Because you are overcharging. Because you will end up paying sales points. But this money, Mr. Speaker, that counties collect do not have value, Mr. Speaker. We have never seen value. For example, when you go to Kapsabet County uh, uh, market, uh, market, and I know Senator Otsosi knows this, the county has carries and county revenue officers will enforce with fire and fury. But when you go to Kapsabet town market, you will get there is no toilets, there is no clean water, there is no electricity. No one is collecting that at our Mamamboga who are at the Kapsabet town market. But when it comes to collecting receipts, you will see governors sending their scaries, sending their revenue officers, Mr. Speaker. And that money, at the end of the day, ends to the county treasury. Mr. Speaker, 
And that is, there is no value. You go to Kaptumo, you go to Mosoriat, you go to Kabi, 